Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my new series, Rainbow High's Drag Race. So before we get into like a little recap, I'd like to say you should definitely check out the playlist. I'm going to have it linked somewhere around here. Um, and it has like an introduction to this series and then the first episode. So this is the second episode, not where you want to start, but definitely come back here once you're all caught up. But anyway, I'm going to assume if you're still here, you're caught up. So let's just do a little recap of last episode. So I'm going to pull up the like statistics board again. So I'm going to move myself to the top corner and now we got the statistics board. So looking at the statistics board, um, we have, of course, that Bella Parker quit the competition during the lip sync she just straight up walked out decided she's not doing it um which is insane but like you know what bella be iconic um and then we had delilah as her other person in the bottom two delilah did survive and we had tiara as our mini challenge winner and challenge winner so that's kind of like the rundown oh and then gabby and robin were also high in that episode so yeah that's where we are but now we need to get into how this episode's gonna go. Find out what craziness is gonna be in episode two of the series. So let's go ahead. Um, so first up, we have the mini challenge. And in today's mini challenge, queens will do a quick look about balls. <laughs> um, and Maline Lux won the challenge. Good for Maline. Again, I don't think mini challenges add much to it, but you know, it's just a fun little thing to add to it. So good for Maline. Um, she's joined the rankings of winners cause, because right now all we've had so far is Tiara winning both. So finally we have someone else uh, winning something. All right, today's challenge is Snatch Game. The Queens will do funny celebrity impersonations. Um, Poppy, Jewel, Robin, Karma, Gabby, Tiara, Maline had great performances. Simone and Delilah did good which means we have Simone and Delilah as the bottom performers. And they also don't say like who each person performed as. I would love to see in the comments if you guys could say like who you think some of these people would have played in the Snatch Game. I think that'd be so funny. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to the next page. All right, Queen's performances. Oh, and then Runway. The Queens will bring it to the runway. The theme is retro. So Karma, Tiara, Delilah had a great runway. And then Poppy, Jewel, Robin, Gabby, Maline, and Simone had an okay runway. So let's see. It looks like um, Karma and... So Karma's the only one who did good both times, right? No, Karma and Tiara both did good in performance and in runway. Delilah did bad in performance and in runway but they great in runway. And then we have Simone who did bad in both. Simone did bad in the performance and bad in the runway. It's not looking good for Simone. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and see how the judges go with this week. So judging based on tonight's performances, Poppy, Delilah, Joel, Simone, Robin, and Maline, you represent the tops and the bottoms of the week. Uh, based off the, t the tops and in the performance and runways, I think this six kind of makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it goes from here. But now we're in Untucked. So again, this is kind of just like seeing the personalities of the queens in the competition. It doesn't mean much as like who's going to win or anything, but it's still a little fun flavoring to add. Uh, Jewel, Maline, and Tiara decided to campaign to send eliminated queen home. So like all stars elimination or to send the eliminated queen home. I don't know. I guess they're just bullying the girl they thought was in the bottom. Uh, Rob and Poppy Gabriella get into a heated debate about Pringles. Pringles seem to be a hot topic. Uh, Karma Gabby hooked up prior to the show. Karma and Gabby? You know what? I support it. I love it. <laughs> um, Simone says, go back to Party City where you belong to Karma. Oof. Wow. And then Poppy is getting annoyed by the way, by the way of how is drinking Tiara Song. So that, that's not grammatically correct, but Poppy's getting annoyed with how Tiara Song drinks. So I guess just every little thing about Tiara irritates Poppy. Maybe Poppy is getting like a little bit, uh, what do you call it? A little bit insecure because you know tiara won the mini and maxi challenge last week so maybe she's just annoyed seeing someone else win 
but let's go ahead back to the stage. Ladies, I've made some decisions. Poppy Rowan, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. So, Poppy was getting annoyed with TR, but now it's her time in the spotlight, I guess. And with that, we now need to show off what Poppy wore for the retro runway. Okay, so welcome to my Rainbow High Closet again, and as you can see, Poppy is not sitting in front of us. This is where I would be going into her look and telling you all the details and everything, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the outfit fell apart um, after I did the video recordings, which luckily I was able to get the montage and some photos, but after that, the outfit literally fell apart, and that's because, if I'm honest with you guys, this outfit was not the best constructed, um... It was a lot of prayer and hot glue. Okay, actually there wasn't any hot glue in the outfit. It was all sewn. But it was a lot of prayer and just like willing the outfit stay together. And luckily I was able to film everything except for this section. So I can't show it to you guys. I am sorry, but I still do want to go over like my inspiration and everything. And I did have a sketch for this outfit as well. Um, so I'll show that up close. Um, again, I'm no great artist, but when I got the theme retro from the runway for some reason my mind went straight to 80s prom so i fully just like sketched out i started like googling like 80 prom dresses and stuff like that and i kind of got this idea of just like a uh, body uh contouring or like a tight body contour dress and then just like tool on the with gloves and tool um at the top of the gloves and then like a scrunchie and a side ponytail and I don't know, I was just like really excited right off the bat um, for what I wanted to do for this one. And I decided to go with like that really bright blue fabric because I was like, it's so obnoxious, especially against her orange color scheme. So I was like, the clashing is like bright colors. I feel like that's very 80s. And um, I did not end up making a scrunchie. Uh, the outfit didn't come together. And then also she ended up with a big bow on the back, which you all may have seen. That's something my husband made because the outfit was falling apart in the back. And so I was like, I don't know what to do. And so my husband was like, just stick a bow on it. So he sewed a bow and we put that on there. And it held it together for the most part, but even that couldn't save the catastrophe that was that dress. Um, and also something I will never do again is sew fabric gloves. They look great. I'm very proud of how they look. Um, however, it is the most difficult thing I have ever done in my life. Putting those gloves back on to the doll, I can't even begin to explain how difficult it was. I will never do that again. It, it was too much, but I think I got the desired effect I want. I'm still pretty proud of how the look turned out. I hope you all enjoyed it too. And again, I am sorry that I don't have the photos, uh, like the dress here to show in detail up close, but I promise you, you don't want to see it up close anyway. So now let's get back to the rest of the episode. Okay, so that was uh, another runway down, another one uh, made by me. Uh, I hope you liked it. That one, I was difficult. You know, I already talked about it, but like, yeah, that was another one. Again, I'm not a perfect seamstress, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, now let's get back to the episode, the good stuff. Um, Poppy Rowan, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. We got that. Jewel, Robin, good job this week. You're safe. So, wow, Robin has been in the top two weeks in a row, but not gotten the win. Now we have Delilah, Simone, and Malene as being the bottoms of the week. Malene, you are safe. Which means we have Delilah and Simone in the bottom. So, that does make sense, kind of, because, like, Delilah did bad in the performance, and we all know performance kind of seems to matter more than runway a lot of times, and drag race but anyways uh simone did bad in both categories so her being in the bottom two makes sense and delilah was in the bottom last week so i think this all kind of checks out but i really hate it because these are two amazing amazing queens so let's find out how it goes for the lips uh it's time to for you to lip sync 
for your lives. Good luck and don't fuck it up. The song is Pound the Alarm by Nicki Minaj. Great song. Uh, Delilah and Simone both flopped the lip sync. So neither one of them even did a good job with the lip sync, which is, wow, that's bad. But let's see where it goes from here. Simone Summers, Shantae, You Stay, Delilah Fields, Sashay Away. So after that, I guess after being in the bottom twice and not doing a good lip sync, uh, Delilah goes home and Simone, at least she wasn't in the bottom twice in a row, even though she did what seems to be the worst in this episode. So yeah, I guess Delilah Fields is gone. Okay, so here we are at the slide showing kind of the summary of the episode. We have uh, Poppy with her win. Um, then we have Malene Lux with her mini challenge win. Maybe that's what kept her out of the bottom, actually. Um, and then we have Simone Summers, bottom two, and Delilah eliminated. And poor Delilah, she went from bottom two to eliminated. And speaking of Delilah, I thought I should bring her up right here. It's another beautiful girl, another pastel girl, too. Um, and another fan favorite, being eliminated in week two. We have lost two incredible girls so far. We have lost Delilah and Bella. It's shocking to see both these girls go so quickly. It also means they're not getting any custom looks. They've been eliminated unless they come back for the comeback um, competition or comeback twist, which will be in this season. So don't worry if Bella or Delilah was the one you're rooting for, they still have a chance. But yeah, that's so sad to see poor Delilah go. She's so beautiful, she's so stunning, and I'm gonna miss her a lot being in this competition. But it's not about her anymore, unfortunately. So let's look at these like stats real quick and see how everything's going. Um, the person with the most points, well, we have a couple people at four points if we're looking at it. We have Tiara with the mini maxi win and being safe this episode. And then we have Robin, who's been in the top two weeks in a row with another four points. Then we have Poppy, who was safe, and then she won a challenge. So those are kind of like our front runners right now. Robin looks like she's coming up for a win, which is kind of exciting. Uh, Poppy, she got her win. And Tiara, maybe she's going to start fading to the background. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And then Malene, it is not looking good. She has been in low placement twice so she was low first episode and low second episode um then we have simone who's gone safe and bottom and then we had delilah bottom and eliminated uh so let me know what you all think about this episode were you cheering for delilah or are you happy she went home like how are you feeling what are you thinking and i don't know who are you cheering for let me know i really want to know like who you want to win this uh season and I guess that's it. As, uh, as always, my Instagram will be tagged down below. Um, it's his.dolls on Instagram. You'll be able to see my collection. And I'm definitely going to be posting photos of each of the runways for this season. And I guess that's it until next week with our next episode. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.